What is going on, everybody? It is Brad, a.k.a. Honey Bradger from Grumpy Old Men, and I am bringing you the war recap of our MLCW semifinal match against Redline, and holy hell, somebody call the paramedics because I think my heart may have just stopped beating after watching the end of this damn thing, and yeah, somehow we got the W. So, let's tell the story. Uh, we had to run the default breakdown based on who was available on each, both sides, so two... 518. So Town Hall 9 game was definitely going to be important. And of course, as you would expect in a 2518 breakdown, it was going to be a close war in the end anyway. But this was pretty crazy. Um, props to you, Redline. Much respect. Your nines totally outplayed our nines. I mean, and you guys executed well, top to bottom, uh, to be honest, really. Um, you executed very, very well. Um, our nines, um, we, we got some issues to work out for sure. Um, so finally, after both sides cleared the nines, um, they definitely had some good 10v10 attempts, but weren't able to get any. And we, as you would expect, did not have as many 10v attempts because uh, we just didn't have the attacks available. Um, so we didn't get a 10v10 triple either. Um, and so, of course, at the end, it came down to the Town Hall 11 dip game where they did very well, except they missed. Where is it? 99%. They missed a Builder Hut. Of all things, of course, the dreaded Builder Hut. I'm sure they were shaking their heads at that one because that basically opened the door for us um, for the win because, as you can see, we did not have the percent in the end, which meant our Town Hall 11s basically had to go 4 for 4 on their dips and uh, to get the win and so crazy pressure on them but somehow they did it there we go at the last what was it last five minutes of the war two three stars to get the victory and yeah somehow we pulled some magical something rather out of our butts and uh got a little bit lucky not gonna lie props to our town hall 11th for sure they executed so well under pressure but uh, as a whole, I uh, can't say definitively that we deserve this win in an overwhelming sense. Uh, but uh, way to get it done in the end. Got the victory somehow. So, I got to show our boy Party Panda's attack in the end. Because it was the last attack right here with basically no time left. Absolutely had to have the three star for us to get the victory. And somehow, some way, the magic happened for us. So really clutch, PP. Very, very clutch. So here we go. Baby Dragon to start. BK helping out with the queen behind him. Helping the funnel here. He's going to take out some of these edge defenses. So queen's going to walk on down here, take out some more stuff, and hopefully get one of these, this uh, air defense here. So, of course, King doing some work, helping her out. Wants to take care of. So, there we go. One air defense down. And now he's going to, quote-unquote, spam, semi-spam a, uh, what was it, Penta, Penta Lalo here. So, got everything on the edges, trying to funnel everything in. Enemy Queen doing some work on that Hound. Here come the air skellies, of course. What's happening to this Queen? Is she there? So she's going to go down somehow with these puffs. Meanwhile, the warden just decides to have a good old picnic, a little walk in the park here, and just attack some barracks and stuff behind with the, the other heroes. They're having a little party. What the heck are they doing? So he's at this inferno, cannot get it down. Loon goes down. He doesn't have that many. He's got hounds left. He doesn't have any loons. Meanwhile, here come the heroes, decide to join the party. Speed them up a little here. Come on, guys. Queen just barely hanging on somehow. Hey, heal him up. Why not? I mean, what else can you do? <laughs> Didn't have any loons to heal. So pups exploding. The, their hound explodes. He's got one hound up still. So thankfully that hound popped because the pups are doing tons of work now. Getting these inner trash buildings taken care of. Queen, luckily he's behind the king. We're just taking some damage from that cannon. She is stepping up, trying to tech out everything she can. That hound is still taking damage from that archer tower. Thankfully... It pops and is able to do some more damage. This Inferno is barely hanging on. The Queen is able to take out that Archer Tower. And boom, the pups finish off the Inferno for the 3-star. 
Wow. And that was the final raid that got us the win in the end. That was pretty insane. Uh, let's take a, a look at some of the other action that happened in this war from our side. Uh, we will take a look at Ice. Iceman. Ice cream for breakfast going in on number two. So he's going to do the queen walk. Valk attack with six healers. Not sure he needed the six healers because of the diminishing return nature of those healers. But I guess he wanted to make sure she stayed alive and in case they switched to something else maybe. So anyway, at the beginning, nice value for this bowler here for his rocks and the rocks he is throwing down because he's going to get three buildings right there. So good value there. Another one down here getting a couple more buildings. Got the wizard here uh, helping the funnel at the start. Wanted to get this camp, but uh, not a big deal. He didn't. Had some Valks on it. So now he's going to bring in the healers and the archer queen. And she's going to do her thing and walk on down south. And that air defense nicely in range for her. So he's going to rage her up. She's going to get through a bunch of stuff here and come on down. Doesn't need wall breakers because he figures um, all he really needs to do is take out this kind of outer ring here. And then he can jump to this town hall after that is taken care of. After that funnel is taken care of. So here we go. He's going to send in the, the king with some bowlers behind him. Slow this down to see the action here. So the queen unfortunately goes down there. Didn't get the rage down in time. But no matter, the BK and bowlers are going to do some work for him. And look at all those healers on him. Actually kind of worked out. So looks like he's got the funnel created now. He just needs to jump into that town hall. A few Valks to test and they are going to go straight for it. Got a rage save for them. And they are going to get through that stuff before the CC can take them out. So he's got the 50% and the town hall. The rest is just some cleanup and percentage. Got some baby dragons on the outside. And that is that. Solid raid there, Ice. The Eagle doing some work on some last a few more troops there. But that is it. Nice job, Ice. All right, next we got our boy Dillweed going with, in with the Go La Loon. And it looks like he, a lot of these bases, like I said in the last video, a lot of these bases in Town Hall 9 are looking a lot, a lot like Town Hall 10 bases nowadays. But uh, anyway, uh, he's got the, 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 kind of the two ADs here, two ADs here. So he's going to just decide to go into this north section here and get uh, as much value as he thinks he can with um, his kill squad. So what he wants to do is get those two ADs down here, as well as the CC and the Queen, which is pretty accessible. Um, as ex as you would expect uh, when you have the queen near the outside here along with uh, the 80s and whatnot you could probably expect a Tesla farm somewhere down south but uh, I think he knew that and with the smart loon deployment as you'll see here he's able to crush this base so here we goes with the kill squad gotta get that storage down the outside so they are finally funneling in bowlers almost take a walk but they don't so they get down in there uh, Golem and BK tanking for them, so gonna get those two air defenses easily. And Queen is gonna step out, step up and take out some of these core buildings, which will definitely help, as these wizard towers are definitely a threat to the La Loon portion. So here he comes with the swarm of loons, hasting them in, getting those two ADs down. So now it's a matter of deploying everything correctly and hasting things to the to the right thing about Bob's <laughs> in the middle. So here we go. Loons on the outside, which was key because he got the Tesla farm here. So surrounding that Tesla farm, getting it taken out as soon as he can with those hastes. So nice job there. And now the loons can just path to these last few defenses. But Queen is helping out as well because she is still alive. So beautiful that she is still helping out. The rest is cleanup. Awesome job, Dill. Another six pack for you, buddy. Very nice. All right, next we got Tom going in with a Laloon attack, but uh, check out this base. All the air defenses right here, uh, right around the Queen and the CC. So kind of anti-air, but uh, Tom says, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and Laloon it anyway. Let's just take out all these ADs and see what I can do. So that's what he's going to do. He's going to rage his bowlers up. They're going to do some work, do some things. So all ADs down. So now he's just got to kind of circularly, uh, rotationally deploy his hounds and loons, which he's going to do here. 
So nice that the hound went uh, to this uh, sweeper right there because there's uh, it's tanking for these wizard towers and whatnot. Unfortunately, this Tesla, well, it's hitting his loon most, or excuse me, his hound mostly. So good tanking there. Queen is still up, and she's going to do some cleanup duty. So here he goes, just rotationally deploying surgically very nicely. So just clockwise as he goes. Wizard Tower is definitely a threat, but just too many loons. And he overwhelms the space in the end. Got a haste here still, and he's going to haste on through. Crush these remaining defenses. Loon to spare to help with cleanup. Don't forget that corner hut. And that is that. So nice job there, Tom. I don't think most people would have chose to do a halalo on that. So very, very nice. All right, we got Mahai going in. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but Mahai, Mahail, um, going in on this base, which pretty good base here. Not too many, uh, you know, obvious weaknesses or anything. There is a Tesla farm right here um, by the queen, and a lot of buildings to kind of to get through if you want to go straight at the queen and the CC. So um, pretty good design here. But he, knowing about this Tesla farm, he is going to send in some Valks um, with his kill squad of heroes, basically, uh, to get and heal them up. Knowing there's a hound in the CC, they're going to be able to take out that uh, king and queen uh, easily. And then he's going to hog the rest of the base. He's got four heals and 32 hogs. I think he's got a CC of hogs as well. And... Uh, Queen's going to work on that hound for a while. Um, and Valks are still up, actually. They're going to do some uh, trash duty. And here come the hogs. So all he's got to do is deploy the heels in the right spot. Queen is going down to those pups. And so now they are a threat flying across the map. However, he does have a poison. There goes the poison. Look at how close that poison is to getting those pups down. Boom, they all die. Hogs are doing work now. I know this wasn't a max town hall nine, but uh, definitely had to execute this well to get it done, and he did. And it was clutch because it was kind of towards the end of the war where we needed to to clean this town hall nine. So woohoo! Very very nice. Just got cleanup left. Smartly saves a wizard to take out this stuff down here, but he's got plenty of hogs and plenty of stuff left to take care of the rest of this, even a swag BK ability. And that is that very nice raid, Mahai. And that is all I got for you guys. We are moving on to the finals, so buckle your seatbelts. There is for sure more crazy, crazy action to come. And once again, much respect to you guys, Redline. You guys are very solid, top to bottom, and uh, best of luck to you guys. So anyway, until next time, happy clashing.